Hi, and welcome to take five in the Cane Work series of six sessions. Today we're going to look at kata. Kata is a Japanese word meaning drill, form, exercise. It's a prearranged set of movements. This is a nice, straightforward little kata that we're going to look at today. It's about moving yeah, and against this imaginary partner that you've got. I don't, I don't suppose I have to say this, but I will. I hope before you start each of your sessions with this, you're going back to number one and just going through those exercises, just making sure the shoulders and wrists that wear nice and warm, ready to do the techniques. Okay, so now we'll move on to kata, which is a big part of martial arts. Yeah, all forms of martial arts has kata. And in cane work, we have them as well to help us drill our moves, our techniques, our movement, our balance. So, so important. Okay, this is kata. Nice and short and sweet. Yeah, but very important getting used to this. Working, yeah, when you're on your own, these are things you can do at home. You don't need lots of space, just make sure you don't knock off a favourite bit of china or take the chandelier out. But nice, yeah, compact pieces of work. Yeah, I'll run through it again and then I'll explain hopefully how we go. We bow, come to a stance. The person comes to waters, we thrust. We swing the groin, round the head, strike the leg, step through, strike. Push them away, come back to our stance. That's a technique, a set of techniques, you can practice those. You, as I say, you don't need a partner, you can just work your way through that, just getting your timing and your exercises together. Our technique on number five, we're going to be looking at a couple of strangles, and again, I'm going to ask my colleague John to come and join us here. We're going to be looking at chokes. We were looking at chokes. One, the first one from the punch, and the second one where John has got the choke on me and I break away from the choke. So one, I'm putting the choke on. Two, I'm having the choke put on me and I'm breaking away from it. Okay? So, number one. That's me placing a choke on the attacker. And now the second one is the attacker has got me in a front choke and I'm gonna break his grip and deal with him. Simple again, as he comes in, bring the stick over, pull his arms in, and bring my knee up 
into his chest, into his solar plexus. Good luck with those. Take your time, practice them again gently. Yeah? And we'll see you on the last tape of this series, tape six.